guys, what's up? Alright, I'm gonna be doing a servicing on uh, Western Cloud Ultra Mount system. Okay, basically what I'm gonna do is um, you pull out this plug right here. and you let it drip, it all drain out. Basically what I did was, I made this uh, tracking right here, so that it goes down and makes it a little easier. So, and then you, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out this filler plug here, that's also your, your uh, level indicator there. You're gonna pull out your vent, which is this. Stick it on the side drain it all out make sure you wipe off the, your drain plug here and then basically what I do is I throw a little in to flush it out that actually came out right there uh, when I flushed it out so make sure you do that I don't have the truck here so I actually can't um, move the uh, plow up and down but if you can what you do is you'd hook the truck up to your leads push down and then try to push your tongue here push it down try to get as much fluid out as possible okay and then check your connections try to check all your connections all these because uh, last year when I serviced this these two uh, mounting bolts actually came loose and then this one here used to be over here somewhere uh, it actually stripped out because it became loose so I actually had a put it over here now check all your cables check all of the different sections here make sure there's no cracks down in here um, this pivot point up here this is a really big trouble area for these um, Western plows they tend to wear out down inside the hole here and this tends to crack and up front so definitely check all in these areas for cracks down in here you want to check down in here check the pistons all that um, basically I'll be I have one light that's out this one here I have to actually check it and replace the bulb but right now I'm doing the, the basically the um, fluid for now so I'm going to pause the video. When I get back, I'll be uh, putting the uh, fluid in. I'll show you how to how to basically set your level right here. Okay, guys, we're back. Now, basically, um, I put the plug back up in here, okay? And what I did when I was filling it, I actually left off this breather cap. Keep it off because when you stick your funnel in here, you can pour it in easier. Um, I used two quarts. Basically, you don't have to buy the one gallon, but you could buy two quarts, maybe three quarts just in case you have one as a spare. Um, this is your level right here. Just basically to the top thread right there, and then you should be fine. Like I said before, um, what you should do is have this connected to a truck, but I don't have the truck available. Push the tongue down and then you can try to work with it connected to the truck if you can work the plow back and forth get as much fluid out as possible but I don't have that option uh, what you would do is if you do that what you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this up to the top put your plug back in connect all the electric back up lift the plow up put it side to side put it down with the tongue all the way down you're going to fill this, basically check it, and it should be low. You're going to actually fill it back up to the top, do it one more time, and then check your level. And then once you're good, that should be it. And then you're basically you're going to put your plug back on. So that's about it for the, um, the oil, the changing of the oil. There is a, a, an oil filter inside this tank. Um, I'll probably be doing that probably midwinter checking this if we had a winter like last year 
you're going to want to check this um, filter probably twice twice uh, during the winter time if possible if it's an older plow if it's brand new you really don't you don't even need to check it so that's about it some people um, they actually put Teflon on this plug here and on the bottom plug they put Teflon on them just to keep them from leaking possibly I don't I, I find that it's fine so that's about it um, as far as the oil change goes so I'm gonna pause the video I'll start taking this apart I'll show you how to test this light to see if it's um, the light or if it's the wire um, since I don't have the truck I'm gonna have to do it a certain way I'm actually be checking the bulb and not the wire so I'm gonna pause the video I'll take this apart I'll show you how to test the light Alright guys we're back uh, basically what I did here I took the um, four corner screws out you have four right here you're basically gonna take this out here down in here you have your plug that's connected to your light you're gonna be looking for your ground which is indicated by this black wire with the white tracer okay on your prongs in the back just to double check that it is the bulb and not the wire you're gonna get your DVR here your digital voltmeter here and uh, put it on basically your um, your connectivity side here and then basically when they touch together they buzz so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit each one to see this one works so that's not the low beam and then this one it's not the high beam so the problem with this not coming on is not the, actually the bulb it's actually the wiring so there's something either wrong with the plug which is either corroded this one's the uh, hot your main for your motor and then down here is for your lights and also your joystick so there's either something wrong with that plug there corrosion or something or it has something to do with the truck side which could be the relay a fuse or something like that so once I get the truck I'm gonna have to actually check the truck side now hook the uh, electric up get this up and running and then actually trace back from that plug all the way down into the truck it might be a relay or a fuse hopefully it's just a fuse because that's really easy to change so that's about it for uh, I, what I have on the Unimount right now, the Western Unimount, uh, as I go through the winter and do anything else to these plows, I'll make a video and um, throw them up for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Any comments or whatever, let me know. And um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, okay? Take care.